Hi guys, welcome on the channel. I would like to show you in today's video how to prepare CAN cable for the Victron system if you have the battery system with the JKBMS. It is very simple, you can see it on the video that you need just the UTP cable and then you need 8 pin connectors and also some tools for it. It is very easy. Now I am making uh, the Victron side. We will have a look on the pinout. I think it is very clean. The pinout for the Victron is ground on the free, can low on 8 and high on 7. On the battery side it is 6 for the ground. Then you have can low on the 5 and can high on the 4. So that's all what you need to make. There is also another cable that Victron is making. You can see it can be changed a little bit, but it's not for the JKBMS. So this one is very simple. Definitely you can see here is the original cable. You see you have the Victron side and the battery BMS side. Uh, this cable is one side, one way direction. So you need to connect it directly. If you turn it and uh, it will be not working. And as you can see, uh, there is no collision between the ports. So you will burn nothing, but the communication will not work. So that's a good one if you just turn the cable wrong way. I am also using the microscope a little bit uh, to check if I have it everything good in the correct position. And at the end it needs to look like this. I have picked the ground uh, as a brown cable. So you can see it on the battery side pin 6 and pin 3 on the Victron side. I scan high because it's high then I used green and the green white I am using for the can low. So you can see can high on the 7 and on the 4th on the battery and can low on the battery on the 5 and on the 8 on the Victron side. When you connect the cable, when you are ready and finished, definitely you need to use some kind of terminal, terminator. At the end, uh, generally you will have it with the Victron, you get minimum two pieces, so you can use them and end the communication on the other port of the Victron and it should be fine. I'm not sure if you have seen, but those cables, they are so heavy and uh, when you buy the original and also expensive. So I think uh, it's better to use uh, your own and you can also make the distance exactly like you want. I was making my one and uh, you see it's quite short. So uh, why, why to use it crazy cables for another system? I have a little bit longer one, so it is very, very easy. If you will be using uh, more uh, servo devices uh, on the on the on the can, you can do that. I am actually running one battery pack and I have three servos because I'm using three phase system and I'm running single servo and single inverter on each system on each phase. So I can actually uh, make whatever I want on each phase. I can turn off uh, phase two if I wish to and uh, it will be running on the other two. Uh, they will be running independent and they can read all of them from the battery pack and it will be very easy. This one I will show you in the next video where we will concentrate on setting up the JKBMS and also the Victron. We will look. Here you can see it is finished cable. You see it was exactly the same like here on the picture. So you have the battery side, the Victron side. When you have this one it will be working perfectly. So thank you for the watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.